Right, so we fitted the direct 4x4 awning. Um, we've never had it out of the case before, so this is us uncut, unchanged. Let's just see how we get on. about it that I've noticed is it's got a seat awning rail as well and because the ca the actual case pushes back onto the roof you're going to get a good seal there. Well the awning rail is just under here. That's fantastic. That's brilliant. So if you get the drive away kit Bit of kit that really pleased. 
And the fact that we went for the two metre length rather than the 1400, the 1400 would have only brought it to about here. Which means that when you open the door, you've got a good foot on either side to protect the inside if it's raining. Whereas a 1400 would only come to about here, so this would have been all exposed if it's raining. Yeah, definitely the right decision to go for the two metre. Great bit of kit, easy to put up. Let's see if it's as easy to put it away. Very pleased. So now we're going to have a go at taking it down and seeing how easy it is to actually put it back in the case. It's obviously going to be a lot easier with two. I'm not sure I'd be able to do it on my own, but I'll give it a go if I have to. Just fasten the three Velcro straps to keep the actual sun canopy rolled up obviously before you un you zip the case back up. <laughs> so when the tents when they all in there, let's start again. So when we discovered the sun canopy, the way it's fastened in with the straps like so to stop it rolling open goes right across where, where your drive away awning rail is so you can't actually slide in. The word Bernie was struggling to find was our drive away awning kit. So to rectify that, what I've actually done is pull the legs out, cut this section off which was under there, I've gently put a hard metal piece underneath and then gently run a blade across there, make sure there's something underneath and then I've detached that. And what my idea then is to fasten it, to drill a small hole in the aluminium next to the rivet that held this in place and then fasten that to the inside like I've done here. So when you come to fasten the awning up, it'll fasten up just the same. Would 
before but it leaves your driver way awning rail free to slide your awning into awning into fantastic it's amazing that what little changes you get something you think it's perfect but not quite so we were happy when we discovered the awning rail until we found out that there wasn't a free rail to to be able to just slide your awning into so Bernie put his thinking cap on and came up with this. Still fastens in place. Fantastic. Still comes down. So now we've got the best of both worlds. So we can have the sun canopy out or we can have the sun canopy still fastened and in its case and fix the awning, separate awning, onto the rail. Fantabby dozy. And also when this is open that pushes back onto the roof gives you that protection from any wind and rain coming down off the roof. Ah, fantastic. And that will fit back over the top, unzipped. And that will protect it from protect the rain. Awning from the rain and weather. While oh, you've got your driveway awning. That's a neat little hack. Now all we need to do is buy our little driveway awning. Oh, that's how that go. Job sorted. <laughs>